According to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, there are no workplace violations for FJM concrete. On the other hand, Hernandez has criminal charges dating all the way back to 2006, spanning across several counties. I'm sure the prosecutors are going to try to to get in as much as possible, and I, I mean, I don't blame them. On Friday afternoon, the Texas Department of Public Safety arrested Jerry Hernandez, the driver of the cement pump truck that hit a Hay CISD school bus and a following car one week ago, resulting in the deaths of two people. Uh, we know now that he was intoxicated and he hadn't slept. Court documents reveal Hernandez admitted to investigators he had three hours of sleep and smoked marijuana the night before the crash. He also admits using cocaine early the morning of. As a result, Hernandez now faces a criminally negligent homicide charge, but this isn't the only run in he's had with the law. In 2006, Hernandez was arrested for driving with a suspended license in Travis County, which is a misdemeanor. In August of 2023, he was charged with assault family violence in Hayes County, a felony. And November 2023, he was charged with criminal mischief also in Hayes County. This is Hernandez's mugshot from January of this year in Hayes County. When Hernandez was arrested Friday afternoon in Bastrop County, he was also facing an unrelated warrant for a bond violation out of Hayes County. There's already an indication that this person had um, a background that, you know, may make him more likely to, to be a reckless driver. Laura Ramos James is an injury lawyer in Texas. She says Hernandez's history could be laid out in court if he goes to trial. And crash and accident investigator Lee Jackson agrees. There's a trial to determine guilt or innocence in terms of causing this wreck. That, that issue stands by itself. Uh, then if there's any kind of a punishment phase, then previous behavior is allowed. Laura predicts civil suits will come from this as well. The company also could be um, could be liable for their own um, negligent acts, failing to hire, failing to train an individual, uh, failing to, to screen properly. We reached out to the attorneys representing FJM Concrete and Hernandez for comment. We have yet to hear back. Reporting in the newsroom, Abigail Vélez, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.